in the next fight, you've got Armin Petrosian taking on AJ Dobson. I think this is a very interesting matchup as well. I've still got a side with the favourite and Armin Petrosian in this fight here, though. He's a little bit taller. He does actually have the shorter reach, which is interesting. AJ Dobson with a 76-inch reach is pretty crazy, but I like Armin Petrosian's striking. I think he's got really good striking. I know he's coming off a loss to Kaio Borrello, where he was controlled on the ground for the majority of that fight, but... That's Kyo Baralho, man. Kyo Baralho made Gadziel Magadziev look bad. You know what I mean? So, um, I don't really blame that loss there. Armin Petrosian's really a striker. He's He is coming off that weird win over Grigor Rodriguez where there was a couple of knockdowns in the fight, which I guess kind of dictated who won the fight in the judges' eyes. It was a tough one. It could be scored either way. Um, but yeah, he beat Kaloyan Kolev off a loss as well. I remember predicting that fight, and I believe I picked Petrosian for the win that Dana White's continue series fight. Just win my channel was getting started because Kaloyev had such a padded record it's absolutely insane but um for AJ Dobson he's coming off that loss the first loss of his career and he's lost to Jacob Malkoon and I know Jacob Malkoon's from Australia and I'm from New Zealand and I'm gonna be watching um, him probably fight in Perth next year but you can't lose to Jacob Malkoon especially especially since we saw Jacob Malkoon not be able to capitalize and finish Nick Maximov, who, who could barely walk after that weird leg injury, like, it's just, it's a scary look, losing to, to Jacob Malkoon, man, and I'm just going to be picking Petrosian here, I feel like both guys, for the most part, do have a very good striking base, but the guy with the better grappling that to lean on is AJ Dobson, but I think that Armour Petrosian's going to be good enough on the feet to kind of keep AJ Dobson at bay, and probably defend the takedowns as well, he should be able to defend Dobson's takedowns and just win on the feet, and I'm going to actually go with a knockout here, I think Petrosian gets a KO. I don't think he's got a KO in his UFC career. He does on Dana White's Contender Series, but not in the UFC. I think he gets one here in front of a crowd, in front of the Dubai fans. I think that uh, Petrosian should get a KO in this matchup over AJ Dobson here. Dobson's got a chance to win. I don't mind if it's an underdog. If someone told me that they were picking AJ Dobson, I wouldn't I wouldn't cry about it. But um, I just, I'm just i not going to trust Dobson to get takedowns on Armand Petrosian. I think Armand Petrosian keeps it on the feet. And uh, I think he, I think he wins a, a striking fight for the most part, really.